Hey, what's up everybody? So Nuts here bringing you another commentated GTA 5 video. In this video, I'm just going to talk about some things going on in my life. Now you probably don't care. I'm just some nobody who makes random YouTube videos once in a while, but I figured I'd just add some commentary over the gameplay instead of uploading raw gameplay footage. So, as you can probably tell from the tone of my voice, I'm pretty depressed right now. 2013 was a really shitty year. It was a hell storm. You know, I was unemployed pretty much the whole year. I was a floater. I didn't really have a stable home. I was bouncing back and forth between my mom's house, my best friend's house, and my best friend's uncle's house. And the way I was making money was doing odd jobs like working in people's yards. Um, fixing Xboxes, PS3s, PCs, etc. Making enough money to help out the people I was staying with, you know. And in March of 2013, that was the worst. Me and my girlfriend broke up in March. And I also lost my favorite uncle to leukemia. You know. He, he was like a second father to me. Growing up, I'd always stay the weekends at his house, hang out with him, my aunt, my cousin. We'd go to church, we'd go camping, go fishing, we'd go to malls, we'd go out to eat, we'd play video games, we'd joke around. He used to always call me Chris the Fish because I used to always make weird fish faces when I was younger. Can't quite remember why I did, but I was a pretty eccentric kid growing up I did some strange things but I was pretty entertaining then now I've grown up to be a very miserable and boring adult yeah my uncle was awesome he was a really good dude he wasn't a very judgmental person he was always there for you when you needed him to help out as much as he could he was a hard worker he worked five days a week at an upholstery shop made sure my aunt and my cousin always had a roof over their head, food to eat, and things that they wanted. And up until... That was up until the disease really took over his body and started making him a lot weaker and making it where he couldn't even stand up or really walk, so he always had to be on bed rest and have catheters in him, IVs, and taking tons of pills and had to go to chemo I mean all of that stuff just wore him down and I honestly think all of that made him a lot weaker and made him die quicker like I really don't think chemo and all these meds and all these IVs and shit that they put in cancer patients helps I mean it might help certain ones but I mean everybody's body is different so what works for one person isn't always going to work for another, you know. And that's what sucks. I just wish that um, marijuana was already legal, you know. If it would have been legalized years ago, my uncle could have been, you know, taking marijuana. You know, not necessarily smoking it, but they have other ways to get the THC and the cannabinoids in your body. And those things really do help. They help strengthen the cells. They help kill off bad cells and there's been plenty of people who have went into remission with uh, marijuana so it's definitely a powerful plant and it should have never been illegalized it should have been legal these past 2000 years for real because it's a plant that does way more good than bad you know, nobody's ever overdosed from smoking. Nobody's really ever had any major health issues with smoking. And that's because um, marijuana makes you a lot healthier. But yeah, those are some bad things that happened in 2013 that made it a really shitty year. And uh, the only two good things that happened in 2013 was I got partnered with RPM. And I reached almost 2 million before the end of the year. I mean, 2 million views before the end of the year, so that was nice, but other than that, 2013 sucked. Now, 2014 is starting off a little better. I got a job. It's not a very good job, but 
That's a good enough job to get by on. And so I'm currently living with my best friend. I don't have my own room. I don't really have any privacy. I sleep on a couch like a bum. And I use his computer to record these videos. But I'm using my PVR, my microphone, my Xbox, and my TV. Because that's really all I have to my name. I don't have anything else. All I have is my microphone, my PVR, my Xbox, and my TV. And I got a film probably end up having to sell those. And I really hope I don't. I hope I'm able to start saving up some money with this job. And I'm hoping that my ad revenue from YouTube picks up. Because as of right now, I ain't making much on YouTube at all. And it sucks because I'm getting getting like 300 400,000 views a month but I'm only getting paid for like 100,000 basically because like 60 70 percent of the views I receive every month are <clears throat> from people using adblock and adblock is very detrimental to us youtubers who rely on ad revenue because if you use an adblock your views aren't really counting and you're cutting into the amount of ad revenue I receive what really sucks is my ad revenue split with RPM Network is 50-50 so that means they're getting half of everything I make which really sucks and I wish I would have read that in the contract before signing it but now I've already signed the contract so I'm stuck with them until the end of it and I hate it and what really sucks is that I've gotten three offers in the last two or three months from other networks that would like to partner me. One being Zoomin.TV, who has a 80-20 rev share, which is fucking fantastic. 80% of the revenue I'd receive while they only receive 20%. And I think that's the way it should be with every network. And TGN, they're 70-30. And then I think uh, there was one more network that sent me a thing saying they do 70-30. So out of those three networks, um, Zoom and TV was the best. And if I wasn't already partnered, I'd be partnered with Zoom and TV right now making a 80% rev share split. But unfortunately, I'm stuck with RPM making only 50%. And I think that sucks because, you know, I'm the one putting in the time to make this content so I should be receiving a lot more than just half because all RPM network is really doing is just allowing ads to show up on my videos that's it and that's just like some automated system they're not really having to work I'm the one putting in the work in these videos you know recording the gameplay doing the commentary doing the editing and my montages and adding after effects and shit in my other videos while they're just sitting back collecting half of what I make. I just think that's wrong. I think I should be at least getting 60 or 70%, you know, at the least. But yeah, my YouTube payments are really low and I just wish they'd start getting a little higher. I wish somehow, some way, I could just create a viral video. I know that's what a lot of us want to do, but it's not as easy as it seems, you know. I've made plenty of videos where I got my best friend wearing a diaper and a wig, dancing to some crazy music, pinching his titties and doing all sorts of funny shit, but for some reason those videos just are not popular, like they only have a couple hundred views each and it's just so surprising, especially when I see these other videos of fat guys dancing and they have millions of views on them. And they're not even as funny as the ones me and my best friend made. But anyways, I'm going to end this video. I'm sleepy. My head hurts. I'm depressed. I'm miserable. i got to try and figure out what the hell I'm going to do with my life. Because I'm just not happy with the way things are going. But I'm going to go ahead and end this right now. I've done rambled on enough about this about that just a stressed out white boy right now 
can't help it, you know. It's hard to find the silver lining in my life. I'm living in my best friend's living room, sleeping on his couch. I have no girlfriend. I'm broke. And I just have no happiness, no ambition, no motivation. You know, I'm just a cynical asshole. And all that is in my mind is negativity. And I hate that. I just want to find some positive in my life for once. My YouTube channel is my one positive. I gotta admit that, you know. Seeing my views rise every day and receiving email alerts saying that such and such has subscribed to you. I mean, it's a really nice feeling when you see people that are subscribing to your channel. It means that they actually enjoy what you're putting out. And I definitely want to put out more content. But until I get my own place or at least move somewhere where I have my own room and buy my own computer, I'm not going to be able to put out constant content on a daily basis like I want to, you know. Because I'm using my best friend's computer to record. And it's in the living room where I stay. But I have to wait for them to go to bed before I can record. Because if not, they'll you'll hear the TV and them talking in the background while I'm doing my commentary. And that wouldn't make for a very good video, I say. But yeah, uh, hopefully by the end of January earlier mid-February at the most I'll be somewhere else you know have a room somewhere have my own place have a computer and I'll be putting out five to ten videos a day then that way all of my subscribers will have something extremely entertaining to watch other than what I've been putting out And I don't know what I'm saying right now because I'm delusional. I have a headache. I feel it pulsating, you know. Like that throbbing feeling that you get. It's the worst. My eyes are burning. And I'm sitting here trying to think of what to say. But when you have a headache that this that's this visceral, it is just so hard to think straight. And you end up forgetting what you're talking about. You end up saying shit that doesn't make sense I don't know but anyways I'm about to just end this right now I don't even know why I attempt to make these videos at fucking 3 and 4 in the morning it's just stupid you know that is a time when your brain is in sleep mode it is not in think and talk mode but anyways I hope you guys have a good night good day um, enjoy your lives, you know, live them to the fullest, don't be depressed like me, don't be a loser like me, if you're not happy, get out, do something, try and find something or someone to make you happy, because there is always something or someone that can make you happy, you just have to find it or them, and that's my problem, I haven't found it or them yet, you know, my YouTube channel makes me happy, it does, but it doesn't make me happy enough because if it did I wouldn't be feeling the way I am right now I think what I need is just a really good woman in my life you know a woman that can love me for me you know make me feel good every day you know receive a text from her saying Mwah. I miss you big boy you know shit like that I would just be so cool I haven't had that in over a year yeah. Relationships suck. I can't deny that. They suck. They are hard work. But if you're with the right person, it's definitely worth it. It's worth the fight. It's worth the struggle. Sometimes just a kiss from that special someone can change your whole day around, you know? But, anyways, enough of my sobby chatter. I'm going to end this. So peace out. Keep gaming, my fellow geeks and geekettes. Game on. Game on.